Hello, I'm Ben, this is Mike from the Brink, and today I'm going to start cutting the metal bits out of this bed. I'm going to replace it with the timber. I've got some sapili, and I'm hoping I can get the tailgate off. Because there's two, two bolts in there. And those, hopefully they'll come off. Hopefully it's been off at least once in 56 years. But yeah, the plan is, just cut all this metal. I've got I've got all new ones of these strips. I've got wood that sits between here. And I've got 12 days to casually do it. So uh, let's get started. So I managed to cut out all my strips around front to rear, just cut bolts. And my next puzzle is the old timber that's in here. There's the bolt through there, so to underside. I wouldn't want to take bets on it actually coming undone, so I'll have to cut that. But, pig of a thing to get to. And there's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. And also I think once those eight are cut, this body's not going to be held on. So that's something I need to be careful about. So obviously there's other sides just the same. But it's progress. I've got room to work. I can sit down on my diff like this now. Another thing I thought was a bit of an oddity is this cross member just sits there. The only thing holding it in place was the fact that it was fastened to the uh, the wood, the timber. You'd think that'd fastened to the actual frame, wouldn't you? Whereas the front one has got this affair going on. So I'm probably just going to cut this because it's just another coach bolt there. I don't think that would come undone. I'll give it a little try because it's easy access and it's bigger. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that one's held on. It went straightening as well. I don't know if you can tell on video, but it does actually bend down probably an inch. So we need to straighten that. I popped in for a coffee and uh, it's raining when I come out, so rain stopped play. But we're doing all right. I need to get what's these six of these. There's one I've removed from that corner, one from that cross member at each side, and there's that one still to do. This back one here still to do, and this one still to do. Uh, I'm not working in rain, that's no good. 
So I'll go into my little motorbike workshop and uh, work on something else. It's the evening of the day after. I've not had much time today to take my dad to a doctor's appointment this morning, but I've got my Dremel and I've cut that bolt out. A little bit of a delicate operation. And then the other one has it not fared as well. The metal was pretty much just falling apart there. Um, but it is what it is. So next I'm just going to cut that one out, I think it's the last one, and knock these out. I left them in a bit of penetrating oil last night, so hopefully they'll come out. And then I'm going to start cleaning it up with a wire brush. I'm starting to lose light now. It seems a lot lighter on this camera than it uh, actually is in real life, so I'm going to pack up. Uh, I think first thing tomorrow is I'm going to get my pressure wash out and uh, just blow everything over and rinse it off because I'm running over it with this uh, this wire brush and dust just landing everywhere else. So uh, yeah, I'm just chasing myself around. So I think a good clean's in order before we go any further. End of day two. It's the morning of day three and a little bit of time this morning before I take my young into the dentist so I thought well I'll give it a pressure wash and just blow off any unnecessary and uh, that's it it's wet now I'm just waiting for that sunshine well, it's like a the building's like a sundial we're waiting for it to come around look so it's going to dry off now and I think I'm going to put the first bit of wood in today and mark out these wheel arches I need to cut because the wood slides the wood slides right up to my, uh, that far in so it's up to the main bit of the body so I'm gonna have to cut out about what's that two and a half inch out so I'll, uh, I'll get a piece in situ and mark that out properly and that's the uh, first step I think is get them two side pieces in See if I get enough time to get something done today. First impressions, looks really nice. It's orangey wood, matches the orangey truck. Um, gonna be a challenge to get these metal strips in. Have to uh, root out a little bit more than I was thinking. We'll see how much we gain when these are, are fully pushed home. Um, so I think at this stage now, I'm just gonna take them all out and I'm gonna put some Dinitrol. Dinitrol is like wax oil type stuff. Been told it's better, so be easier to do it with a bed knot in. I didn't want to be working on the bed 
after I'd done the dinner troll really because uh, I'll end up wearing it so I'll do what I can with the dinner troll now and we'll take it from there okay so that's been a pretty pretty productive day I've got rid of that spare wheel as well a oh, strange carry-on there was a bar fastening the front bit of this holder here to this bolt hole, bolt hole here and also you undo two of these each side and this bumper actually slides out inside there this box section so it just slides out it's a good two and a half feet you can do so that's how you get your spare wheel out on it I don't want a spare wheel so it was a 17 and a half inch which you can't get a 17 and a half inch tire in Britain this one's got replacement wheels 16 inch anyway put the wood in all seven pieces and it was absolutely snug from left to right with no room for the metal strips so what I realised is I'd measured from here to there. However, where it dips in here makes it a bit narrower. It's enough to have uh, messed up my calculations. So I'm going to have to cut my strips of timber lengthways uh, about five or six mil off. I don't know yet. I have to calculate what I need. So I'll get on with that tomorrow. I'm going to draw a line today, I've got family stuff to do, so that's uh, end of day three for us. Morning, afternoon, got a bit of child labour going on today. Our Tarquin's just fastening the uh, spare wheel holder on there, or not, <laughs> dropping spanners. <laughs> so my little issue I've got, I can't remember if I said this yesterday, I've slept since then, but when all the wood's in, there's no spare gaps for my metal strips that run front to rear. So uh, I need to trim a few millimetres lengthways off each of my boards. That's what I'm just setting up there. We're going to trim a few millimetres off and then it'll all fit there. How are we doing, Tarquin? Nearly done. Nearly done? Good lad. Just routed my first edge there. You know, I've never actually used one before borrowed it from a friend there we go happy with that look at that carnivorous plant collection to re there to move on to people that want them if you want one drop us a message come pick it up random that's a nice edge is that Routed out. Happy with that. So next job, I'm going to take them out, treat them with Osmo oil, top and bottom, because we're not going to be able to do it bottom once it's in. And while it's out, I'm going to get the dinitrol and spray that to everything that I won't be able to access once the wood's in. Quanny, fancy doing some Osmo oil? <laughs> Could you sound more enthusiastic? Oh, that's better. There we go.
that. We've got some M8s, more M8s, more M8s, M10s, that's well, big boys. Two of these are going to go up front, straight through those outer boards and into the chassis. drill from underside we'll try and get it on camera see what that looks like there so I need to drill a hole straight up through straight up through that one and that goes through the chassis cross member and into that outer board I'm just gonna see if my drill bits long enough because I'm not convinced it is I'm about to find out but I can't film it because it's squishy under here well, that's where it came through. Moment of truth. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's like somebody planned it. Beautiful. I'll do the other side now. try with optimistic hope that if I use my impact driver the top of the bolt will just bite into the wood and, uh, and it'll drive it in. Let's see what happens. I had a day off yesterday so is this, is this day four? I've lost track. I think it's day four. We we'll probably finished today. So this morning, I've just put in the whole uh, coach bolts all down the edge there. So it's starting to feel a bit more solid. And just assessing where everything's going to go because I'm still working with these metal strips that are not from a dodge. Um, but we'll make it work. So we'll have one in the front there, one in the back. They're not quite the same length, so I might just have to extend the hole by a couple of mil just to make it fit but it's all right this cross member is not fastened to its chassis so i can align that that's fine where the holes will be across here i'm just going to put a piece of wood to kind of cross brace it there these ones almost line up i think i can make that work these ones i'm going to put a piece of wood all the way across because the chassis is not in the way like on this one you see it sticks up it's going to be in the way so i'm going to cut 115 centimeter piece to go across there 80 centimeter for there and then the same 115 centimeter to go across there i'll just give it a bit of cross bracing don't crack on
you'll have your hot there. chocolate. Jump out here. Go on then. Perfect to your landing. Yeah. Thank you. See ya. See ya. So there we have it. I'm happy with that. I was originally going to cut these end bits off because they're a bit long, but uh, I'm not going to. I might just nip some of these up a little bit. All I'm missing now is 150 mil bolt for that. That one's 100 mil, and it's oh, it's. It's about 12 mil shorter than what I need, so that's all right. I'm pleased with that. Let's have a little walk around then. Eh? Let's have a little look. Look at that. Now we need to collect a motorbike with it. Yeah. So all in, that's cost me. Two, two thirty for the wood, one eighty for the the metal strips, and forty quid in uh, bolts and nuts and washers and all that. So about four hundred and fifty quid all in. I'm pretty pleased with that. It could certainly have come out worse than that, and it's solid now as well. You know if I. If I shake on it now, the whole truck's wobbling instead of the back was wobbling and falling apart because it was literally just strips and no wood. So I'm really pleased with that. That's a good deal. So thanks for watching. If you've got this far watching, I think you need a medal. It's been a long four days for me. And uh, that's a noisy tractor look. It's been a long four days for me and uh, I'm pleased to get that done. It was it was pretty much my only concern about the truck. Everything else is really solid on it. It's, it's just a cracking truck. So I think we'll pack up there. Give us a subscribe, give us a like. I'll create a playlist for any Dodge videos I do. Keep them separate to my bike stuff. I'm, uh, I'm not sure bike people are interested in the dodge or vice versa thanks for watching